long time, in three weeks, I think, three or four weeks, because as I told you, school, so I couldn't have, I didn't have time, so sorry again, but don't, um, I will make videos, so don't worry, I won't stop making videos, it's just I don't have the time, and so as you can see, oh, and this is the inside, I brought all the plants inside already because it's getting cold, and yeah, so let's begin. These are the Buchalokias. As you can see, they're ripening, but some of them are starting to wrinkle. wrinkle. I don't know, maybe they're overripe, but I don't know. The plant does look a little um, empty because it lost its leaves. But it's warm in here, so as you can see, they're ripening up nicely. And I actually tried one of these. I tried, like, if you look like a needle, I tried, like, the the tip of the needle like that size and you would not believe how hot it was it was like uh someone like threw fire like in on your tongue and i don't know but yeah you gotta try it yourself to uh, see the experience then i have my plumeria and the flower which goes up up and up it's almost starting to open up and another one's coming up way over there in the back can see and it's starting to lose some of its leaves as you can see and right there the little thing you can see I think that's a tomatillo because it was growing next to a tomatillo so and it looks like a tomatillo so I'm just leaving it in there and those white paper bags you see are, are tomatoes we picked all the green ones and they're ripening up there and then if we go down here You'll see my Fahoa. It's doing great. But it did lose its growing tips. I don't know why, but as you can see, it, it lost all of its growing tips that it had. They just fall off and it'll go wilted. But I mean, it's, I'll keep it wired. But then this is my Hawaiian pineapple tomato that tastes. Almost like a pineapple. It has a hint of pineapple. And as you can see. And then right over here. And on my shelves from last year, as you remember. I made lights. You can see right here inside. This is the first one. Open it up. I have foil, aluminum foil on the outside door. And aluminum foil all around. This one's a little broken, but... And on this one, the light keeps falling because I have to tape... Oops, sorry. With uh, duct tape. So... And I'll try to tie it, but I don't know. This side is holding up, but... I don't know. So, this is my other plumeria. I started from seed. It, it's growing. And as you can see in the back, I put uh, the sticky stuff that would catch the little flies. Because last year, that that was what killed my plants, so I don't want to have that problem again this year. And then here, I have uh, my grapefruit, which smells great if you rub the leaves. This is my desert rose, also doing great. And this light is a little whitish, almost bluish in color, but the second level... That's the better color, so now let me just close this. And now I'll show you the second level. And in here, I also have aluminum foil. And in here, you can see my dragon fruit seedlings. They have grown a lot since last time. And new ones came up. You can see probably because they weren't that good seeds, but they came up, germinated a couple of weeks ago. And these are starting to grow very nicely, and they're fuzzy. That's my orange. My other grapefruit. And as you can see, there are, there's a good amount of the little flies on the yellow sticky thing. And there's my other orange. And these two plants are actually new. If you know, the little frugal gardener had a contest, and she was giving away seeds. Well, the prize was seeds. And and she said the two plants and this these were it. 
this is a dragon fruit. This is the red flesh, so it's red on the inside. And these ones are white that uh, I planted. So now I have a red one and a white one. And this one, when I got it, this was on the top right there. But I accidentally broke by accident. So, but as you can see, it's growing another growing tip. But this one, I checked and it's growing roots. So I'll have another one. And this one I'm very excited for. I couldn't, I've been looking for the, these seeds online, but I couldn't find any. This is an ice cream bean tree. And the tree is very tall and big. And it and the fruit is, they look like um, big beans. And inside there's like this fuzzy cotton stuff. And it, uh, some of them taste like vanilla ice cream. And if you want to see what it looks like, go to the Kiwi Growers channel. He has the tasting and the growing of ice cream beans. And yes, yeah, so I think that's it. I think I might show you the outside, but I'm not sure. So yeah, so that's it for the indoor garden. I'll keep you updated through the winter. And my next videos are going to be coming up. Christmas videos, Halloween, Halloween decoration videos. And definitely the Christmas ones, but next will probably be Halloween, putting them up soon. So you can see a pumpkin on the left right there. I'll be taking them out. So yeah, so that's it. I think I might go outside right now to show you, but not sure yet. So if not, thank you for watching. And Oh, and I think I might, what I'm going to do with these is just dry them. Uh, Put them on a piece of string with a needle, just put them like, there'll be a long like, garland of peppers, so I might dry them. And yeah, so thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the outside maybe, but I don't know. And don't forget to grow organic, and thanks for watching. See you before I go outside. Well, if I go outside, this is my asparagus. It's starting to get turned yellow. Right there, I know the sun is shining, so it might not see well, but... There it is, and that's the Franken pepper that Ray sent the seeds for me. These the three different peppers and one this one. That looks cool. Okay, so and as you can see in the back, there's a red pepper right there. And yeah. That's not my clue, that's my neighbors, but uh that's it. So yeah, this is turning yellow, but I think it's normal. Yeah, so now we might, I might see you outside, or maybe not. Okay, so we'll be showing the, you the outside, and you'll see a lot of changes. But let's begin with the raised bed. You can see I pulled up every, everything from the raised bed, except the, uh, the chives, because they are perennials. And these, I just noticed, I don't know what these are. They look like tomatoes, actually. Let me see. I think they might be tomatoes. Maybe a tomato fell in there and maybe it fried it and maybe to the tomatoes came up. But now, the sage. We pick, I picked a lot of it and I made a sage and orange zest. Oh, um, sorry. Someone's got mine. And I made um, butter, well, sage butter with orange zest. And with that, we made uh, orange. Uh, zest and sage butter cookies which were great if you want a recipe please uh, tell me and leave a comment this is the cilantro coming and going to seed Let's see and my caladiums didn't do that well but I think I might dig up the bulbs and the carrots we picked most of them and We've got bigger ones, but I'll bring this outside. And oh, we got, we got some pansies growing. And the rose is doing great. You can see the flowers are beautiful. And this is my Chinese lantern that I planted from seed. Oh, I didn't even notice this. But they're changing color. They were green before. I might, I'm going to bring this in. Then, oh, and even my primrose is coming back. It was, it was dead, I thought. Oh. oh, and these plants, as you see, 
these are uh, I think that yeah the little frugal gardener did a video on this also if you touch these they pop I don't know if any of these are ready I think all of them are But you can just go to the little Frugal Gardener's channel and you'll see they like pop. And this too, I transplanted it instead. And this is a marigolds, uh, uh, petunias, and bell peppers. I planted from the raised bed. You can see decent sized peppers. And then flowers, flowers. The coleus, right there. And then purple peppers. Right here. See that? Then up from the raised bed, I transplanted here the orange melon or the Kiwano melon. Oh, and also I tried one in our supermarket. They had a few, and I tried it, and it was yeah, it tasted like a kiwi almost, um, an unripe kiwi, and with sugar, it was good, like it said. And this is it, but oh, and it's also sp spiky, so be careful. It's, it keeps growing, growing, but no flowers, so I don't know. Oh, and this is a big one. Big pepper. And then, let's go over here. The mom? Mom flower something? Yeah, mom. I think. Then lavender. And another bell pepper. This is an orange one. Orange kind. You can see turning a very orange. I think you can see. Yeah, right there. And this is my other hibiscus, my yellowish or more orangish yellowish hibiscus. So I'm going to bring this in. The marigolds doing great. Oh, also the marigolds, petunias, four o'clocks coming to an end slowly. And then petunias here. Eggplant doing great. Eggplant all over. Still flowering, and then this. Oh, I'm gonna show you this. Look at this. It's uh, it's two eggplants in one. This is the first time I've ever had that, and lots of more eggplants in here. Huge cluster of eggplants. I want you to see that. Lots of eggplants. Huge cluster. Then this is the poinsettia from last Christmas. And but this isn't the one and that I showed in my videos in the transplant poinsettia. This is another one we got because the ones with the glitter had died. So but this one's still alive, so we're gonna keep it for Christmas. And this is my Christmas tree. It has grown like I don't know a tiny bit in a couple of months, not much. I'll be bringing that in. My cotton, I don't know, it looks like it stopped growing. I don't know why. I think maybe I'll bring it inside. This is my, oh, these are the husk cherries. Another cotton. This is a cutting I took from an indoor plant. It's very nice. And there, I have no idea what it is. What is it? I planted something in there. I remember. Oh well. And these are my R2 shrubs. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and the strawberries over there. And yeah, that's it. Those are some buckets with soil I have left over I'll use for next year. Strawberries there. And oh, I also want to show you the strawberry bucket, the strawberry container I had here. One of the things, or, um, I forgot the name, what they're these called, uh, yeah, one of them grew in here, so I'll leave it in there. Oh, uh, suckers, I think, no, suck, no, uh, well, I forgot the name, what they're called, but, yeah, so not much going on in the garden, you can see I'll give you a tour, very empty, looks very nothing, and you can see the grapes over there, and a little of the coleus, and the pears are all gone. Most of them are, most of them were gone because the squirrels ate them, and some of them we ate. They were good. So yeah, that's it for this garden. This is probably the last garden update outside. 
and I'll see you inside next week. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time on the garden update. And don't forget to grow organic. See you. Bye. last thing I have to show you is just these flowers right here doing great and the last thing right there you can see nothing pretty much there I cut off we cut off all the tomato plants ripped them up into watermelon we picked the watermelon and the I we went over the, with a lawnmower which was very fun and we tried the watermelon it wasn't that sweet so I think I could have left it a little bit longer but Oh well, next year I plant them earlier because I played this year I them a lot later. So, yeah. So thanks for watching. And now, really, goodbye. And don't forget to go organic. And yeah, that's it. See you too. Bye.